Hi Stoughton, this is Steve Cavey, Select Board Member of the Town of Stoughton. I'm also the Vice Chair of the Select Board. Uh, today is Tuesday, November 17th, 2020. And I just wanted to give you guys an update on uh, our meeting from tonight. Uh, before I do, so as a reminder, in the description below you can find links to the entire meeting at SMAC, through uh, SMAC. Uh, you can find links to the agenda and the, and the minutes when they become available as well as a link to a, an anonymous suggestion box if there's anything you want to share with me but you want to keep your identity uh, secret, please share it there. Uh, you can also reach me, obviously, uh, through my email, uh, which you can find on the, on the town website. Our phone number is also listed there. If you, you can contact me several ways, but if you want to be anonymous, there's a link below to do that. So, I'll go quickly over, over the, the meeting. Um, before I do, uh, I just want to let everybody know that we had a meeting scheduled for last week, uh, but there were some te technical difficulties where we weren't able to record the meeting. So we, uh, rather than, than proceeding, we, we just um, uh, essentially canceled the meeting and decided to have two this week. So we have one tonight and we also had have one coming up on Thursday. Uh, so we, um, as a heads up, there, there was a meeting last week, but it was canceled, and the contents of, the, of that meeting are going to be covered uh, next Thursday, as well as some of them were for tonight. So, first on the agenda, citizens' requests, select board comments, town manager comments. Uh, they're right up at the front if you want to watch them. Uh, we did get some comments. Uh, the the one I'm, uh, I'm just going to repeat my own, which is to say that uh, we are moving into... Uh, uh, winter, obviously, uh, with, with uh, the coronavirus uh, looming large in the way that we live our lives. Uh, things were, were going pretty well, I think, kind of, everything was kind of fun over the summer. Uh, we had to limit our exposure to people, but we could still be outdoors. Uh, we could visit people, maybe in their backyards, uh, spaced out. Uh, a, lot of those, a lot of those activities are going to be uh, unavailable to us going forward as, as we get into winter. Uh, it's gonna be brutal, uh, it's gonna be painful, and uh, you know we, we could certainly push through, but uh, in New England, people in New England are particularly good at that. Uh, however, this is absolutely going to take a toll on a lot of people's mental health. Uh, and so I just ask people to, to be mindful of that, pay attention to yourself, uh, and if you need help, get it, please. You know, find find someone, either a friend uh, who can help, or there are, there's certainly uh, within the community there are resources available if you need counseling. Uh, but also um, uh, keep an eye on on the people you care about uh, if they start having difficulty, uh, it, you know, speaking or or they're unclear, foggy, forgetting, forgetful, anything that sort of stands out. Um, it could be an indicator that they are. Um, struggling because of of, of, uh, of the isolation we're all about to in, have to endure, uh, help them as well. Uh, okay, so I'll move on, but do please take care of one another. I know you always, you always have and you always will, but you have to be really mindful. Uh, okay, so we had, we'll start off with, with we had two public hearings. Uh, the first was a joint meeting with the Board of Assessors uh, regarding tax reclass hearing. To discuss and vote on residential factor for fiscal year 2021. Uh, what, what should come as no surprise to everybody is that that because of once again because of the coronavirus and the effect it's had on our economy, there are uh, there were a lot of very difficult decisions that had to be made, and considered by both the board of assessors and, and now the, the select board. Uh, ultimately, uh, you know the. the the main concern here was was the the, the uh, shifting of, of some portion of the residential rate to commercial. We've been pretty consistent about keeping it about 1.5 percent, uh, so, uh, so you know a good portion of, of some some of the the uh, taxes that that the community needs are shifted away from residential uh, to commercial, and because of uh, the impact that that. Coronavirus has had on on commercial and on on businesses. Uh, that that amount of the shift has been reduced to 1.48, uh, 
instead of 1.5, where it typically hovers. So I think last year it was 1.5. Uh, the effect is, of this is that that uh, the average home price would expect an additional tax uh, to, to have to cover an additional tax of about $185. So that's the average home price. So if yours is more, it might be above the average. Uh, if it's less, it might be below the average. Um, and that's, uh, you know, we're, we are also very mindful of the effect that that could have on, on a whole lot of people. Um, but there's, there's, there's simply no place else to, there's, there's not a whole lot more pressure we can put on, on uh, businesses to cover that, that spread. So that was ultimately our vote on that. Um, okay, so I'll move on to the next topic. We had an application for class two license transfer. Uh, in this case, the, the applicant withdrew their application, so I won't go into it, but, but uh, this was an item we didn't cover. And, um, and so you can, you can rest assured there's nothing to talk about there. Uh, next item, I'll go through the, the agenda in the order which it appears, but, but uh, we did cover these in a different sequence. Um, from here on, there was a bit of swapping things around, but we, we had a downtown parking policy that, that Mark Tisdale, our uh, Director of Development Services, uh, and also the town engineer, had put together, uh, and we voted on that just to change the policy. Uh, what we did in this case is that there's, there, we have a lot of uh, uh, residential, or sorry, um, um, parking spaces that are owned by the community, uh, public parking, that is designated for uh, commuters, right? So people would buy a, a pass uh, on a monthly basis and be able to park there uh, close to the train station. So the problem that we're having right now is that, or uh, not a problem, but the, what's happening right now is like not a whole lot of people are actually buying those spots and using them. So we have a lot of empty spots sitting around in the downtown close to businesses. So the thought that we had and, and that Mark Castell has uh, worked out is to make those spots temporarily available uh, as public parking so that, you know, that we can help businesses out as, as, most, as best we can. Uh, and it's it certainly no has no effect on uh, the town because nobody was renting those spaces anyway. Uh, as things change when coronavirus is less of a concern for us, then we'll address it then. But for right now, uh, it doesn't make any sense to, to block those spot, spots off uh, and have nobody use them. So we voted on that, and that passed as well. Next item, vacancies. Uh, two vacancies in the Public Safety Building Committee, uh, specifically community representatives, and we just voted to to uh, essentially put out applications for, uh, start taking in applications, I guess, for, for people who are, are interested in that position. And we are looking specifically for community members, but, uh, but also specifically people who have uh, some kind of experience in uh, these these large uh, building projects. The last item on the on their agenda, but also something we did cover much sooner in the meeting, is the town clerk appointee updates. So a review of job description, review of timeline. So we went through that. There, the, we discussed. Um, we had some discussions on this, but we're going to be following that up on uh, on Thursday's meeting. Uh, if, you're, if this is something that interests you, this particular position, I really do recommend that you listen to our conversation. Uh, it happens pretty early, so it's right after the, the assessors uh, at the very beginning, then we, we move to the town clerk's appoint, appointment. And um, it's, I think it's useful to, to hear what we were thinking through, struggling with, and trying to understand. Uh, so hopefully that's useful to you guys. Uh, next thing. Consent agenda, bills, warrants, uh, sorry, pay bill, payroll and bill warrants, and any other documents to come before the meeting. And item B was just the approval of open session minutes from October 13th and the 19th, October 19th. Uh, we have an executive session listed, but we didn't go into executive session. There, there was there was no reason to. Uh, I, I won't bother reading it because we didn't cover it. But um, but uh, uh, that was the end of our meeting. It was actually kind of an early night. It's actually only 10 o'clock now that I'm doing this video. Uh, 
So um, uh, see you guys again on Thursday. I'll, I'll post another video. Uh, have a great night. Thank you very much for uh, allowing me the opportunity to serve on the board. Uh, it's really been an honor. And uh, I look forward to, to continuing on uh, as long as you guys will have me. Be well, have a good evening, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.